Does anyone else want a coconut? Yeah, two coconuts. Two coconuts. Yeah. You know how you tell when a pineapple's ready? You like, you pull out the, you can judge. You pull out the middle. That's not ready. Ow! <laughs> Gilmore up again, wants that world title so badly. Canelo Garashi crushes it in the pocket, big flow. Setting up on the inside, an amazing read, she comes through. So amazing. Wow. Canelo Igarashi and Stephanie Gilmore. You messaged Terry? I saw him yesterday. Hey, you saw him like something, something? Yeah. Oh <laughs> my God. That was gnarly. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Strides. Stop Strider. When I was in Quicksilver and you got picked up, like we were having the trips, like me, you, Jack, Jack. and Mikey. Yeah. Five years, you're gonna have five years on tour. Five years on tour flew by. <laughs> I even think about myself. Yeah. It's so hard. To make like... You won an event. You got... I made like three quarters, like a semi, and the rest nines. My only motivation is to try and get in the top five. It'd be so gangster too. How's it going, man? Deja vu, huh? Yeah, hey. What's up, Romine? Terry Romine, he's been working on me since I was about two years old. Yeah. I'm always aligned. I've never been at his place in my whole life because of him. <laughs> so excited that you're here. So, so oh, no. Thank God. Important time. It's a good time. Yeah, it's end of the year. It's like everyone's kind of just worn out, broken yeah. down a little bit. So yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good year. Here we are now. And here Sixth we are. Sixth in the world, the last event of the year. Healthy, injury free. And you're looking to obviously win this event. Be a pipe master, right? Man, finishing the year with a win. God, it feels so good. Welcome to the Billabong Pipe Masters. Pipeline is beautiful. It has rights, it has lefts, it's scary. They're going to be some very nervous heats for some of the competitors, in particular those surfers chasing requalification. One of them, Leonardo Fioravanti. He's up against his good friend, Kanoa Igarashi. Leo is like my brother. He needs to make this heat. He needs to make the semifinals to re-qualify for the World Championship Tour. And I know that. But it's the last event of the year, and I'm in a great position on the rankings. I have an opportunity to get into the top five. Leo looks at me and goes, should we do this? It's about bragging rights. They just like put me back into that like out for blood mindset. Igarashi going to turns early on in the heat. Get the scores on the board early. Leonardo, nice tight re-entry there. Beautiful late closeout re-entry as well. Tucking into this one is Kanoa Igarashi. Pulls him, gets that beautiful tube. That's exactly what you want to do with it. Leonardo Firavanti, deep line into this one. The wave spits, and he doesn't find the exit on this occasion. Leo just told me a second ago, like, let's go, let's dance. This is what I'm going to throw at your face right now, Leo. But here we go, movement out the back. Kentucky into this one. Deep in the barrel, oh. finding his way through, Kanoa Igarashi. And I remember thinking like, all right, you know what? This is a nail in the coffin here. That was an extremely good ride. One of my favorite rides that I've had this year on the championship tour. Leonardo's looking, look at the paddle. This is not a soft paddle. This, he knows this is his last chance, 15 seconds. Will he get it in time? Oh. Doesn't get into this one. And Leonardo Firavanti, his run here. At the Billabong Pipe Masters is going to come to a close. All of a sudden, it went from like, you know, we're like messing around doing our thing in the water to like, whoa, this is heavy. Reality was setting in for him and also for me, too. You, another, another one. <laughs> Shut up. I spent more time with Leo in the last 10 years than I spent with my parents. That was not that good, but like, see what I mean? It. Literally just living the life and doing it, being kids, traveling the world, and everything you can expect. This is our life, this is what we dedicate everything into, and like, now here we are. I'm not gonna see him on tour next year. 
I can't believe that he just had so much impact. Yeah, I know. That was like, I was saying, I'll hate my whole heat. Yeah. I was so reluctant to buy it because then you already had the control. I did like the biggest fumble before I pulled in. No hand. Yeah, I think the 6 4 safe gets it. Yeah, 100%. I knew it. So I was in the rail going, I'm on a 6 4. Lucky me. <laughs> it's like my life in here. You want your board, your little twin fin? Yes, please. Here she is. This is more my hour. <laughs> I need to take my vitamins and have a banana. Heat's on. The winner gets this. The winner of the heat gets the trophy. <laughs> Can Simon. take it home for me. <laughs> yeah, for like, here's my address. Can you deliver yeah. it when you get home? <laughs> no one wants to carry that on. <laughs> It must feel good that you finished the year. Mm. So good. Gilmore on a gorgeous wave at Honolulu Bay. Searing forehand turn. Beautiful oh. lie back jam. Caroline Marks goes down. Carissa Moore getting knocked out. Tyler Wright runs out of time. Now for a fifth time in her career here at Honolulu Bay, your champion, Stephanie Gilmore. How are you, champ? Hey, how are you? Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Congrats, Good to see you guys. Yes, Good to see you guys. Hey. Bye. Stephanie. Hello. That was great. Thank you. Hey. How are you? Yeah. Good to see you. Me too. What's happening? Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, she's not happy. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah. Oh, just great. No worries. Probably. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. Remember when you used to stick your finger in your belly button every time you'd hear an ambulance? You'd Why? Be like, just what everyone would do. Really? I don't know. I never... That must have been a King's Cliff thing. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. <laughs> you can jump the fence. Whoa. This is not short. It's so cool how surfing has connected me to so many great human beings around the world and just friends all over the place. Hey, yeah, we'll pop on up. Coming across people that you never would have met if you just kind of stayed and hung out in your little bubble at home forever. And you learn from them so much, which is the coolest. And to me, I've just never felt lonely on the road. Thanks. Nice tie-dye, by the way. <laughs> hey, Miss Esau, goodies. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh. He's got the ice little mask. Yeah, he's got, got it, it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Oh. That was amazing. So, Jake, how was it uh, coaching her? Oh. Um, Coaching staff? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was amazing in Maui. I did an amazing job. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever has the first heat of the day out of Kanoa and I, he'll just <laughs> figure out what works. <laughs> You're like, all right, who's going to be the guinea pig for my theory today? <laughs> Good morning. We are at the Billabong Pipe Masters, and it is on. The swell has grown overnight, and we have epic pipe conditions. I heard the beach pounding last night. Waves are firing. All of a sudden, all the competition, points, money, goes out the window. This is my pure love as a surfer coming out of my skin here. Let's do this. Well, another big heat hitting the lineup now. Kanoa Igarashi, a former runner up here in the Billabong Pipe Masters, up against Solly Bailey, the rookie on the championship tour. Solly Bailey will take the early lead over Kanoa here. Won't be a massive number, though. Kanoa Igarashi, you can see a little bit of frustration from him. Still really waiting to open up with a good wave. Heat's rolling. I'm not in the priority heat at this point. You know, I have John, John, and Zeke to have the priority over me and Soli. All these good waves are coming through, and I'm just losing my marbles because those guys are catching so many good waves. I'm just like, come on, can there just be a third one? Head down, pulling in. Kanoa Igarashi stalls. Wave swallows him up, spits him out. 
Locking in now, Solomon Bailey, former champ of the Pipe yeah. Pro, gets blown out into the channel. Kano Igarashi still fighting for it with 40 seconds to go. You know, I had a really good wave coming right towards me. This is such a good wave. But here we go, Igarashi still searching for a highlight moment. A beautiful looking wave. I'm in the barrel, the water's so clear, but all of a sudden I'm just like got this like high of just like being a surfer is so epic. Ooh. The wave spits and Kanoa Igarashi gets trapped inside this one. Bang, the foam ball hits me and I fall. This is so epic a second ago. I just fell just like that. I'm like, come on, universe. Like, I was enjoying it so much and you're just gonna cut it off like that. And that was pretty much the heat for me, you know? Kanoa out, Soli Bailey moving on to the round of 16. I walk up, get my jersey back. And it was just like another reality slap, you know, like I'm done, done, done. Like, you know, not just your heat, but it's like your year's done. I had the waves to make it. You know, this is like, this is the girls of my year. And I was kind of just like speechless. I didn't, I had nothing to say. I lost and, you know, just it is what it is. But, you know, I'm proud of myself, proud of the year I had, I hugged my parents, and then my parents said, wow, what a year. Let's just enjoy it now. You know, you know, you know what's coming up next year, right? I came back home, this is like the off-season time, and I haven't been anywhere since. I really just want to make sure I can, come July, be in the best physical shape, best headspace possible. Hello. What's up? Who might have I brought a couple of my friends with me? Steamity, this is Macy. Oh. T. Bozzle. <laughs> Glad you're awake. What time is it? 11 o'clock. I did, I, I was, I was the first in message this morning at 8.30. I was like, what time is our team, sir? Yeah. <laughs> This is the boundary where New South Wales and Queensland meet. And this is where I've basically spent, oh, you could probably say three quarters of my life surfing and competing and the whole thing. Was there, oh, I was wearing these, huh? Do you have all your stuff? Swimmers? Oh, you're ready. Yeah, yeah, you are. Four boards, four chicks. We may as well do a lapper. A hundred percent. A lapper of the snapper. <laughs> <laughs> the surf is so bad. Oh, why, why is anyone trying pool? to bark? Can you what imagine just... when it's pumping? Oh, he's doing another lap. No, he's not. Not no. in front of us. Go around. Oh. Go around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Snag it. <laughs> this is where. I... Tiana and I spent probably every day of our lives here, surfing our brains out. It was our daycare. <laughs> this was our daycare right here. Where your mum and dad Free didn't daycare. Wanna... Dropping Look kids off you. and just hope for the best. Every single day, it'd be Mick, Fanning, Joel Parkinson, Oki, Luke Egan. Every world surfing champion that ever came from Australia has spent a chunk of their life here, surfing these waves and this beach. Do we want to surf out there? Yeah, as well. It's either red or orange, man. It's crazy that, like, the more you travel, the more you realise just how spoiled we are growing up here. The weather is incredible. The ocean is clean. People care about their beaches. I'm paddling out down the bottom, otherwise we're going to get sucked out to sea. Waves travel from so far out to sea, and they're brewed up by these wind storms, and they travel these long distances. It rolls in, it's about to break, like it's coming to the end of its life. And a surfer paddles in, and as a surfer, you get to share that moment with it.
Yo. Are you, uh, are you at the house? I'm just, I'm not, I've got a full three serve. I just had a full workout. I had a meeting, signed some contracts. Pack it all in, huh? Sleep when you're dead. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I'll see you soon. How's that little left in there? Any in there? Well, I'm kind of feeling that left. Big old backhand snaps. This was the year, huh? No, butchered it. Plenty more. I didn't really butcher it. I actually fell. Fell. Yeah. You came up, you said, what the f yeah. am I doing? Yeah. I was like, Your what? exact word. I did say that. Yeah. You heard me? Yeah, you were coughing out and you were going snap and then you went, yeah. Yeah. what the f what am I doing? I tried to do some like under the lid, like down carve layback thing. Almost. I said it could have been this year, but he fell off on the way that he should have been in the final four. And then he popped up saying, what the f am I doing? <laughs> so we're just going through that. Just recapping on losses. Family to me is grounding. It's connection. <laughs> I can come back and it's like I never left. Yeah, good to see you too. That's when I knew Steph was getting good because all the boys would come to me in the tent when I was drawing up the heats and go, don't put her in my heat. I don't want her to surf against me, you know. And so I thought, yeah, she's getting good now. Mm -hmm. One more 511 five to yep. try. I have a great relationship with my shaper, Darren Hanley. That last V thing you made me in, in uh, Honolulu was pretty cool. We spent a bit of time just looking at my equipment say, OK, this was working, but I didn't really feel great competing on it. Maybe we can try this. That? And that's why it's really nice. <laughs> I know, exactly. Definitely learning more in my surfing. An incredible amount in my strength, in my confidence. Quincy's really good at airs. So I need to um, hang out with the groms. Whoa! Really I was saying to the girls, I think I'm more competitive on the ping pong table than on the surfboard. When I come home, I get so much joy out of just stopping in for a cup of tea or chat to mum. So you're off on Saturday, is it? Yeah. It's going to be yep. a big year. She's not very wild, my mum. <laughs> She's a little more conservative and dad's more of a free hippie. So that's kind of the, the blend that I got, I think. My dad, oh, it's nice to surf with him and drive up and down the coast and find so many different waves. First person again. Five ways. Win. My parents, they just have given us, my sisters and I, such an incredible sense of just happiness and don't take yourself too seriously. Yeah, enjoy the ride, really. Oh, how you doing? Jeff Hi, Sal. How are you? Dominate out there. You didn't have the point set up, I had to rule them. Yeah. <laughs> See you at the camp tomorrow. We just ran into Sally Fitzgibbons. Who is the other girl that is uh, going to be competing for Australia in Tokyo with me? It's only two two females and two males from the uh, each country. Exciting times ahead. Serving is a tiny sport. I think a lot of servers don't realize that. We're probably smaller than curling. Our sport is so small. And the Olympics is an opportunity to show the world why we're so passionate about surfing. It's amazing now the people that are reaching out because they have seen that I've qualified and Japanese fans are just mad about surfing. This is a huge deal in Tokyo right now. You hear it on the radio, you hear it on the TV, you see it on the streets. It's touched the whole entire country. We've come down to the opening ceremony, which is set up right behind the contest at Kazaki Beach. Everyone's starting to roll in. 
surfing having equal prize pay for men and women and having so many wonderful changes within our sport within the last few years, you know, this is an amazing time to really show the world how cool surfing is. You know, it's just a special moment, especially for my family. It's everything that I've kind of worked for. I want to do my best. Hopefully I get to go to sleep with a, a gold medal around my neck. So many people, you know, yelling my name, saying like, we're so proud of you. You had such a great year. Thanks for doing this. And I'm walking away just going, wow, thanks for doing this. I'm like, thanks for doing what? I'm taking it as like, you know, thanks for representing the country. Thanks for representing Japan. Thanks for the display of surfing you've done throughout the year. Thanks for winning Karamas. So people thanking me for living my dreams, it's like, it doesn't seem real. All the best. Thank you. It's really nice to have you here again. Appreciate it. Thank you. What can you do with these world titles? Like, what's the point? If you win 20, what am I actually leaving here? What message am I telling? What story am I telling? How am I acting in and around my performances in the ocean? Oopsie. There you go. Damn. All these places that we go to work is where people go to holiday. Voila. 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 I've never looked at it like a job. It's a little journey every year. Like you pack your bags pretty much for the whole year and you're on the road and it's just a lot of fun. Like there's so many stories that you can tell just throughout the year by your travels. Going to some cool restaurants, yeah. going to find a smoky little dive bar and listening to some vinyl with local people that don't even, you know, we don't even speak the same language. It's gotta be fun. You gotta make sure that you're doing all these things that make you happy and make you laugh. Happy birthday to Nikki. World titles and trophies and all that is awesome, but the way you carried yourself throughout that success, to me, has a bigger effect on the people around you and the people that were watching you, more so than the number of titles that you won. All the decisions you make throughout the day and throughout life, you ask yourself, was I happy? Did I make the most of it? Happiness comes from love. It comes from a passion. It comes from so many different outlets. And surfing, is, it kind of ties that all together. So I do look at myself in the mirror at night and I go, yeah, what did I do today? Yeah, I surfed. That's all I need to say to be happy. I'm very content with where I am right now. I have an ultimate goal of you know, winning a world title one day. And I'm sure once I win that first world title, I'm going to want to win another one. I don't want any off season. I don't want any vacations. I just, all I want to do is work, 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 make my parents super proud. I'm just gearing up for a pretty big year. To win an eighth world title and a gold, that'd be a lot. Oh my gosh. But it's not impossible. <laughs> cool, can we go eat breakfast now? <laughs>